Jump Festa brought us a new trailer for Kingdom Hearts 2.8 that had some footage of Kingdom Hearts 3 as well, but I will talk about that in a different video. For this video, I want the focus to be on the 2.8 portion of the trailer. We start off with a new scene for this new 0.2, a fragmentary passage in which Yen Sid is telling Riku, Kairi, and Mickey that for their upcoming battle with Xehanort, we will need to bring back Terra, Aqua, and Ventus, the three protagonists of Birth by Sleep. Mickey then tells Riku and Kairi that he met Aqua in the Realm of Darkness once. Now this most likely takes place either before or during the first Kingdom Hearts games, game, as we saw in the new secret movie from the secret episode in Birth by Sleep Final Mix, Mickey is in the Realm of Darkness, probably trying to find Aqua, but to also find the Kingdom Key D keyblade that he uses to help Sora close the door to darkness with in the at the end of the first game. We know that 0.2 will have Mickey telling about what happened when he saw Aqua in the Realm of Darkness and why he had to leave her behind, but I hope we also get something more than that. Going back to how it looks, I think it looks amazing, except for the people! The background and all the details in them are amazing. I just don't like, I just don't like how Riku, Kairi, Yensid, and especially Mickey look in this. And I know I'm not the only one. In my opinion, the only good looking one is Aqua, and all we have seen of her is the back of her head. I really hope this isn't the final build for the character graphic wise, because they just look so ugly compared to everything else. I hope Square really, really puts that into consideration and hope they're getting some feedback on it and hope they t touch it up a bit, hopefully for the next trailer and for the game in general. Moving on with the trailer, we get to see some of the environment for the cinematic experience piece in this collection, uh, Chi back cover, as well as the five fortune tellers talking about a page missing in their book of prophecies, and the probability of a traitor among them. Now unless you have played or read up on Chi or Unchained Chi, you would know that there was actually six fortune tellers, but their master only gave a copy of the book of prophecies to five of them who are the leaders of the five factions that you can play as in Chi or Unchained. So I hope that this will shed some light on the sixth uh, one as well. One other thing to note is that there are six voices in this part of the trailer. The first five belong to the fortune tellers that you see on the screen, the Eucharist, the Ursa, the Snake, the Fox, and the Leopard. But then when you get to the environment, you hear a sixth one talking and we don't know who that sixth voice is. It could be the sixth fortune teller, or it could be their master. We don't know yet. And one last thing is that a lot of people are saying that these voices are the same as some of the main characters, like Riku, Kairi, and Terra, Aqua, and Ventus. Uh, and that leads to believe that people, that this could further prove the rebirth theory, which is that those characters that I mentioned are the reincarnation of the fortune tellers. But we will have to... But whether if that is true or not, it has still yet to be remain seen. In the last part of the trailer shows us more of the Dream Drop Distance remake, and I have to say, it does look beautiful. The scenes that they show don't have that little fuzziness around the characters like it did on the 3DS, and that is a big step up. When we get to the gameplay, it's beautiful as well. However, the heads up display is still missing. The command menu and the health and portrait for Sora and Riku and the Dream Eaters. However, that could still be working on this since they do have to put two screens together into one. The bottom screen on the 3DS had the maps, so that could be fixed by just having a map in the corner like in Kingdom Hearts 2 and Birth by Sleep Pad. But the bottom screen also had some more uh, touchy stuff since it was a touch screen on the 3DS. Like for example, in B Dream Drop Distance, you have three Dream Eaters that you can have on you, but only two of them would be in battle with you, and the third one would be in reserve, and how you would switch them without going to the menus, would you just uh, drag the one that you had in re reserve and have it replace the one up there. So that's going to have to be touched up and also very done very differently than for the PS4 remake of this. So that's probably going to be touched up. They probably still have a lot to do with that in order to make it, uh, in order to make it beautiful. And I'm sure at the end of it, at the end of it, it will look very beautiful indeed. And of course, at the end of the trailer, it says now in development. 
But in the Japanese trailer of it, it says coming in 2016. Yes, it has been confirmed by the North American Kingdom Hearts Twitter and actually the description for the US trailers, both this one and the first one that we had at TGS, it says it's coming in 2016. I think that the next trailer will have the release date, most likely only the Japanese release date, unless they try to do a worldwide release. I highly doubt that that will be the case, although I would really love it if they could have a worldwide release for this game, and hopefully they have it for Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. So if I'm pretty sure that the next trailer they show whenever it is in 2016, that it will say the release date, most likely for Japan only, but who knows, they could surprise us with, oh hey, it's gonna come out for this day in Japan and like a week later or a few days later it's coming out in North America and, and Europe and all the other places. All in all, the trailer was a nice one. Other than the characters and how they looked in the 0 0.2 part of it, it was a great, it was a great trailer. I, that's just my one complaint about it is that they need to fix that. They need to fix how the characters look because they just don't look that great. They look like, they just look disgusting and not that great. And I'm so looking forward to playing this game in 2016 and to finally actually get a little more ahead of the story of the Secret of Darkness saga of the first saga of Kingdom Hearts basically. But how do you guys feel about this trailer? What are, what are your hopes for Kingdom Hearts in 2016? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys when I do my analysis of the Kingdom Hearts 3 portion of the trailer.